do this real quick. Boop boop. excited to see where this goes because that first chapter I thought was really good yeah it was slow but it was a setup chapter yeah um, yeah I'll definitely forgive it for that and like not every setup chapter can be zero escape yeah yeah well, yeah two out of three of the zero escape games I guess true because the zero time dilemma was very slow to start yeah his... And then it made up for it by punching you in the face directly afterwards, so. Yeah, yeah, you know, give and take a little, I guess, right? It's like... It felt like it was... You know those roller coasters where there's a very, very, very slow incline and you don't really feel it? Mm -hmm. Um, And then you crest and you go straight down? Yeah. You, you feel like you haven't gone up at all? But somehow you go hurtling down. That's what that's what zero time dilemma was. True that. Just one one fun roller coaster ride. That wasn't even terribly satisfying. No. Not the kind of roller coaster that you're like, let's do that again. The kind that you're like, what the fuck did we just do? What even was that? Yeah. Uh, Maybe exit corners can uh, avoid that curse. I think... No, no. Every time I say maybe it was part of the expectations we put on it, and then I just put it in a vacuum. Zero time dilemma. Yeah. Like, just as its own... Like, not even... Okay. Sound settings. <laughs> I do think some of the problems with Zero Escape um, could be attributed to that, but I think that even if you take those aspects out, there's it's there's still a lot of problems with it. But I think there are things that can be forgiven if you don't pay attention to it as a as a Zero Escape game. Yeah, no, like if you put it, if you take it as a vacuum and just. Look at it outside of this lens of this is the third game in a series, and this is a game written by Uchitoshi. It's just very mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's got the problem is it's got it's got a lot of good parts. It's got a lot of great parts. A lot yeah. of parts that could work theoretically. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, they just don't go very well together. Yeah, the whole is definitely less than the sum of its parts in this case. Yeah. Whenever you want to start. I'm good whenever. Everything's Chapter. all live and all that, all that junk. So. Cool. Chapter select. Chapter two. Sense game. Hmm. Who is that? I don't know. So maybe that's, that's the name out. of the maybe that's the name of the AI dude or whatever. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Unless there's multiple games going on in the same, same hotel or whatever we're in. Maybe, that'd be interesting. A compilation of games. Uh, I... Should I read this pretending it's Ink or whatever his name is, or should I, or do we just read this like? If you want to keep being ink, then you should probably read this. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, I, I, that's my assumption is that it's supposed I, that it's ink. Yeah. This is probably supposed to be ink. Okay. There's just because no context. Last, last, last we left off, he was, he was bleeding, bleeding from his nose. Yeah. Okay. Profusely. Yeah. What happened to me? The same question repeated itself endlessly in Ink's head. Okay. Good. 
It had been less than an hour since Enkin had woken up in the Four Elements Hotel. Since then, he had been acquainted with a handful of strangers who, like him, had no idea why they were here there. To add to the confusion, Ink's phone had been stolen. In its place was a PDA which could only contact his friend and colleague, Sean. The one who had woken him up was a girl named... Aether? I think that's what we determined, yeah. Right now, she was doing her best to keep Ink's blood loss to a minimum after a violent episode of sudden hemorrhaging. Excuse me. Enough. Oh, that's you. Yeah. You're good. I think. Oh, I started to go southern instead of frat boy. I think it's tough for good. I mean, for now. Southern frat boy, maybe. Oh God, <laughs> that's a wild combo. <sighs> How are you feeling then? That could be worse, considering. Thanks for helping me keep that under control. That kind of bleeding isn't normal, is it? No, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Say, how do I look? What am I, your mirror now? For real. Most of the blood landed on the wall or floor, and we've wiped away what was on your face, so... You look okay. Could have been your scarf, but you might be able to wash it out. It gave the scarf a quick twist, hiding the tiny blood stains from view. Cool. Don't mention this to anyone, alright? Why not? This could be serious. This seems like the kind of thing that could make people panic, you know? Until we know what's going on, let's keep this on the down low. Are you sure we shouldn't tell people that you're probably being mind controlled and your brain is violently rejecting the mind control by making you bleed profusely from your nose? <laughs> Cause that, that that that's what's happening, probably. Mind control shit. That's a it's a good a good that's a pretty good guess. I worry about my personal health once I've made it home. Besides, I feel better now. Don't look at me like that, I'll be fine. What makes you so sure? I'm the sidekick, remember? I've got sidekick invincibility. I don't think that's the sidekick the dies. I was gonna say I don't I think that's that's the opposite. <laughs> oh my god, what if there's like a choice where like what if something happens and either you or Aether die, but like it depended on what you answered in that first question? Probably. Okay. I'm not sure where you heard that, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Watson always made it on the end, didn't he? Despite the author's best efforts, yes. Yeah. Sherlock and Watson both made it out in the end. That's because the books are told from Watson's perspective. Listening, this isn't a work of fiction. <laughs> if you insist on acting tough, I guess I can't stop you, but please consider visiting the campus clinic when you get the chance. I will, don't worry. Let's get out of here then. It wasn't an act. Ink did feel better. Whatever his affliction was, it had passed. I won't be able to get medical attention until I get out of here anyway. Grabbing Ink by the wrist, Aether dragged him through the once locked double doors at the end of the hall. Ooh. On the other side was a small lounge. To Ink's surprise, his other new acquaintances were scattered about the room. Quiet and grave, they were keeping to themselves. You guys are still here? The door's locked. Huh? The door over there, opposite the one you just came through. Won't budge when I try to open it. It's just like that last room. There aren't any other exits? Do you really think we'd still be here if there was another way out? So, what, we're just supposed to wait here? We aren't in a position to do anything else. I don't like this. I want out. 
I know, dear. Please have a seat for the time being. Let's try to be patient. Beth lowered her head and grew quiet. Ink slumped to the nearest seat. From here, he had a good view of the wall mounted screen. So now what? Nobody answered. The others were still fiddling with the devices they'd be giving or staring at the wall. Ink sighed. Not a real social bunch, are they? Well, whatever. I guess we just wait for that face thing to show up. As if on cue, the monitor sparked to life. Speak of the devil. This message is set to play after a short delay. If any contestants are not present, please retrieve them. Who are you? Why do you look like that? Please note that this message is a recording and will only play once. It is advisable that you pay attention. Hello, contestants. Long time no see. That was a joke, of course. I saw you but moments ago. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I already hate this guy. Please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Relax. I'm sure you all have questions for me. I ask that you be patient. By the end of my little speech, I imagine that at least a few of your concerns will have been addressed. Let me start by confirming that yes, you have been abducted. And yes, I am the one responsible. Sorry about that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am sent. Haha, <laughs> I was right. I'll be as brief as I can. I have brought you here today so that you may play a game. A game of my own design. The name of my game is Exit Corners. It has 29 chapters. The rules are simple. I have placed you in the heart of the lovely Four Elements Hotel. As Game Master, I will do my best to keep you there. If you manage to exit the, if you manage to exit the hotel, you win. If your heart stops beating, you lose. Wait, what? And that's all there is to it. Not so difficult to understand, hmm? Allow me to be clear. In this game, you must put yourself first. Your victory or defeat is not tied to that of any other contestant. I have made some alterations to the Four Elements Hotel to allow for a more pleasant gaming experience. One such amelioration is the inclusion of 16 pounds of industrial grade Semtex at this building's foundation. In 24 hours, the aforementioned explosives will detonate. This will cause the entire structure to collapse. In the event that you are still in the building at the time of the collapse, you will most likely be crushed and killed, resulting in a loss. Pardon the negativity. But please, do not misunderstand me. I want you to escape through the exit. I most certainly do. That's why I've given you all a Gemini, to give you a fighting chance. Each of you have been entrusted with an electronic device that I've dubbed Gemini. I assume you are already aware about this fact. Why Gemini, you ask? Each Gemini has a twin. Gemini may only send and receive messages from their twin. The other halves of your Gemini have been left in the care of someone you know. These people will be referred to as your contacts. Right now, as far as any of you are concerned, your contact is the most important person in the world. While your contacts may be different, they're all equally important. I guarantee you'll need their help to, to achieve victory today, so try your best to get along with them. Poor communication kills you now. Hmm. I suppose I've rumbled on long enough, haven't I? I'll leave you alone then. The next puzzle will be available in just a moment. I've got a myriad of challenges lined up for today. I'm rather fond of puzzles, as you can see. Hopefully my fondness is contagious. Adieu, contestants, and good luck. The screen went blank. Ink had endless questions for Scent, but it was clear that he wasn't coming back. What? Ink rose to his feet, shaking. Oh my fucking god, his mannerisms are gonna rub off on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that little lilt at the end of all of his words. Oh no. <laughs> it's already infecting me. Uh -oh. A 
thousand thoughts raced through his head. What was the purpose of Exit Corners? Who was sent? Was it just bad luck that Ink wound up as a contestant, or was he specifically targeted? His cadence is so nice, though! It's <laughs> yeah. such a nice cadence! Uh-huh. <laughs> It's such good enunciation. Yeah, it's not the worst way to get stuck talking. Oh my god, why do we have a choice here? What uh, do, you, do you have a preference? Extremism. Sure. What the fuck is going on? I don't understand any of this. It was the only thing I could think to say at a time like this. Beth looked at him with a mix of concern and pity. Ink, please calm down. Your attitude isn't helping the situation. Calm down. I've just been told I'm going to be murdered. I'm allowed to get mad, damn it. Very well. Come back when you think you've settled down a bit. He's being sent to timeout. <laughs> Screw that. Were you listening to Sin's message at all? We were going to die. How could you stand around so calmly? What the hell is wrong with you people? You're only going to die if you lose. Don't fucking lose. Shump. There you go. Ink, please. Aether. Welcome, guys, with Aether, Ink's anger subsided. A twinge of guilt overcame him instead. How long had it been since he yelled at someone like that? He lowered his head. I, uh... I didn't mean to lash out like that. I'm not mad at you or anything. Besides, keeping stress or anger bottled up doesn't promote mental well-being, so it's better that you let it out... now. It's probably just because I'm voicing both characters. It's probably just because I'm voicing both characters and not because... Her sentence structure is similar to sense. It, okay, okay, it, but what if, but what if you're, what if you're foreshadowing and Aether's the one behind scent? Why is it always the first person you wake up? <laughs> it, it, it always, it's always the first person you see when you wake up. <laughs> you know what? This is just further evidence. Phi is the real main character of Virtue's Less Reward because the first person she sees when she wakes up is Sigma. There you go, I like that. Fi is a much better main character anyways. Yes. Um. Yeah. Yep. Uh. <laughs> I want to keep recommending that one fic that I'm basing. Not basing, but that inspired the thing that I'm writing. Yeah. But it, but it's still, it, 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 it's still 300,000 words long. Yeah, maybe one day. I'm, 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 st I'm as it is. I'm behind on yours, so um, I don't have a lot of time to read. So maybe one day. Maybe one day. If you want to keep healing, I won't stop you. Just try not to direct your anger at the rest of us, okay? It's all right. I'm done freaking out. Thank you. Oh, that was a little too dramatic. Thank you, Aether. That's a big help. Leave it to the psychs. Oh, that's, oh, that's you. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Leave it to the psych student to talk me out of a fit. How cliche is that? It's because she, her sprite changed. Yeah, no, I, I totally see. That's a very misleading. I didn't mean to sound so harsh. I'll admit, I'm scared too. Terrified, even. I don't know what's going to happen to us. I think we're all a bit scared, dear. The first step to overcoming fear is to understand it. Is that something they told you in your program? No, I just sort of made that up. So, seems like a useful bit of advice right now, don't you think? Maybe we should take some time to make sure we're all on the same page. Good idea. Let's go over what we know. Liza, Ray, are you both paying attention? This is important. Yeah, I'm listening. Don't mind me. 
Frey, who had been leaning on the wall in silence, rejoined the others. Just as he opened his mouth, a familiar noise emanated from the terminal. The contestants all turned to face it. It's another puzzle. <laughs> I guess it was set to initialize shortly after the message finished playing. Before we get to that, I think we should still do a short recap. Right. Where should we start? Sent. Is that why you were so deep in thought back there? Yeah. Who is he, exactly? He's a big old question mark for me. I can't figure him out. If he's the one that brought us here, and, and if none of us remember anything from before this morning, that makes him the only one who really knows what's going on right now. What's his motive? How was I abducted? Is all this really necessary? Why did he choose me? Why did he choose any of us? That's what he to me the most. Your guess is as good as mine. Although... Although? If we could determine how or why we were chosen, we might be able to figure out who he is. What do you mean by that? If he kidnapped us at random, then Sense is probably just some kind of maniac, right? But if he chose us specifically, then he must know us to some degree. He hasn't addressed us by name, so it's not out of the question that he chose his victims at random. Yeah, maybe he's just some nut job. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not saying that Sent knows us all personally, but I don't think he would kidnap people at complete random. I don't think anyone would do that. Seriously? Do you not think that anyone could be this malicious? Either I know you're in the psych program, I get that, but that doesn't make you an expert on the human psyche. Some people are 100% batshit crazy, you know? If you listen to the way that Sent speaks, something's wrong with that guy. Ouch. That, um, isn't what I meant. I think I know what Aether was trying to say. So much effort went into capturing us and setting everything up. I mean, there are hand scanners and these Gemini devices and like... Why would someone go through all this trouble to scare the shit out of random people? Isn't there an easier way to do that? Like I said, some people are real messed up. Even still, people like Scent usually have patterns. He might not know us all personally, but there's probably at least one thing that we all have in common. Maybe we meet a certain set of criteria. Alright. I hadn't thought of that. Ink examined each of his fellow contestants one at a time, and as he did, he noticed that they were all glancing around at each other. He let out a weak laugh. We don't really have much in common, do we? I mean, we got both men and women, students in dropouts, young people, and uh, middle-aged persons. Ink, I'm a senior. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mince words when our lives could be on the line. Please and thank you. I'm old, bitch. Just yeah, call me real. old. For real. <laughs> <laughs> call it like it is. Anyway, the point is that I don't see anything in common between the five of us. It would be among the five of us. First of all, your grammar fucking sucks, frat boy. Hmm. Something less obvious, perhaps. I was going to say she's not middle-aged. <laughs> Hi, Brie. Yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he was trying to not get hit, but uh, I don't think she cares that much. He got hit anyway. Yeah. That is true. Well, yeah, that is true. They might all be... I don't, Ray. Yeah, Ray, Ray, it's hard to tell if he's just a tan guy or if he's supposed to be, like, Hispanic or something like that. Because some white people do look, like, tan. I live in Bellbridge, right? Maybe something online. I don't know. The... I picked the last one. Yeah. I t so, and Bellbridge kind of makes sense because, like, that might be true, but I feel like... I don't know. I, I'm inclined to say... The online one, maybe. Okay. 
Yeah, my dad is a very tan white guy. Okay, yeah, see, my dad has a lot of tan, too. Maybe something online? We might all frequent the same forum or social network or something. Oh, but Beth's old. Maybe she doesn't... I don't know. Oh, well. What? You think me and Nather over here visit the same bunch of sites? I don't judge by my by a cover. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that is. Can't say I spent too much time online myself. Maybe we all looked up the wrong thing in a search engine at some point. Did anyone else read the wiki page on the Illuminati recently? Ink? What the fuck? You had better be joking, Ink. Hey, I'm just throwing out ideas. Besides, aren't there a couple of sites that everyone visits? Like, uh, social media? I'm afraid I don't even own a computer. It was a good guess, though. Oh, well... There goes that idea. Let's forget it for now, I guess. I barely know any of you, so there's no way I'm going to be able to figure out what ties us all together, if there's anything at all. Whatever his reasons for capturing us, Scent clearly isn't his real name. I wonder if one or more of them don't actually live in Bellbridge, and they're just visiting. Yeah, so that's possible. It would make sense. Come on, man. Your name is Ink. You're dating oh a girl named Aether, and you don't think that a name like Scent could be legit? We, uh, we're not dating. Huh. You guys come out of the same room, so I just assumed. It seemed like you knew each other. So the two of you are complete strangers that just happened to wake up at the same room? Is it the same bed, actually? Jeez, that must have been awkward. Guess Scent thought, thought it'd be funny. And I gotta hand it to him. It is kind of funny. You're sweating buckets right now, bud. Let me do you both a favor and change the subject. Ah, yes. Let me navigate away from this, from the topic I myself brought up. Yeah, for real. Um, how magnanimous of I. <laughs> Please. Why don't we get started on this puzzle? We can chat about scent later. Remember that we've got a time limit. I'd like to add that there's still the possibility that this is just scent's idea of a joke. Why are you circling her head? Have you ever played Danganronpa? Y yes. <laughs> Do you remember the very first chapter of Danganronpa? Uh, yes. Okay. This just reminds me of the setup to that chapter. Oh, really? Of Junko talking shit to Monokuma. Okay, you think she's about to to die because Scent doesn't like her? I'm just saying, if the Holy Spear of Gungnir decides to pop up somewhere, I'm not going to bat an eye, you know? Okay, fair enough. She is very kind of Junko-y. There may be no explosives or time limit. Right now, we're just taking his word for it. There's always that one person that's like, maybe this is just a joke. And then it sets the, the stage for the consequences. Mm -hmm. Liza, you've been so quiet. I almost forgot about you. It also reminds me of the goddamn... Fanatical BioR shit in CTV. Mm. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Fucking kid. <laughs> Maybe it's just a joke. We weren't actually stabbed with anything, right? Yeah, what if we're gonna we infect know? ourselves by putting this in our bodies? This new that we pricked ourselves with, it definitely doesn't have tinnitus. Oh god. Tinnitus? Wow. Tetanus? Tetanus. <laughs> tetanus. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine if you could give yourself tinnitus by stabbing yourself with a needle? Man, I really have to stop stabbing myself with needles then. Yeah, for real, I'm like, God, what have I been doing in my sleep? That's because I've been messaging my father instead of standing around chit-chatting. I'm trying to get rescued, not play detective. I'm the sidekick, actually. If you're convinced this whole thing is a joke, then why are you so dead set with getting rescued? 
I never said that I thought this was a joke, did I? I just said that it was a possibility. Santa's committed a crime in kidnapping us and forcing us to play this game. There's no telling how far he'll go. It's too risky to not take action, even if this is all a big prank. Why did you even suggest it? Well, I don't want to look like an idiot if this is all fake. Obviously. Do you seriously care that much what other people think of you? Unlike some people, I actually have an image to maintain. A lot of people expect great things from me, you know. And none of them are us. Yeah. Those are pretty big words coming from someone who's probably never worked a day in their life. Guys, come on. Not this again. Whatever. I'm done talking to this idiot. Eliza, you said you messaged your father. Does that make him your contact? I don't know. I guess so. What exactly did you tell him? I told him that my kidnapper wasn't interested in a ransom. Instead, he's forcing me to play some weird game and threatening to kill me. Did you let him know there are other people who have been abducted as well? No. Oh. Well, did you at least tell him that you're in a hotel called the Four Elements and that you've only got 24 hours to find a way out? No. Then what did you tell him? I told him what I told you! That's it? Yeah, so? It took you five whole minutes to type that out? I'm so texting, okay? Give me a break. She doesn't seem the type. Is this like a is this like a, a a situation but instead of prospectnosia she's dyslexic? It could be that. It could also be that these aren't actually knuckles. Um and the artist isn't just doesn't just have weird like art art style and she just has like prosthetic fingers or something. Oh, maybe. Or the artist could just have a weird style. That's possible. You're a teenager. Shouldn't you be an Olympic level texter? Shut up, both of you! Yeah, because you see this divot right here? Yeah, that's kind know. of odd. And these shadows look weird. Like, it could just be very weird. Yeah, like, it's like, hard to tell. Like this, like this fold on his wrist looks just kind of odd. But it, it could just, it could definitely just be art style. But also, she could also be a robot. Yeah, anything's on the table at this point. Should we get started on the puzzle? You're wasting a lot of time asking me pointless questions. It's pretty obvious she just wants to change the subject. She's right. We need to push on. But hey, dyslexia. That is uh, <laughs> something grounded in reality. Yeah. Perhaps we should. There's more about this game I'd like to discuss, but we should get this puzzle out of the way first. Five pairs of weary eyes turn to the terminal. Let's get to it then. Turn seven into number twenty-six. Well, that's interesting. I can't throw to it. Oh, wait. Is it gonna be like? Oh shit, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, that might be a good plot, Brie. I'm not sure, though. This is bizarre. Uh, I, I also th I also thought Roman numerals as well, but that would be like XXVI, and I feel like that would be a lot for this one. But you and I are on the same, wa same wavelength.
shadows are weird. Ugh. You all right, Aether? You've been quiet for a while. I've had a lot of my... I've had a lot of my mind, I guess. If you're not feeling well, you can always let the rest of us handle this. No, I'm doing this puzzle a lot to clear my head. I'll gladly help. Alright then. Let me know if you can think of anything that might be useful. Okay. Oh, an ink? Yeah. Thanks for being considerate. That was absolutely no help. Have you given the puzzle any thought, Ink? Looks to me like a simple enough task, except... Except there seems to be something that we're not quite getting. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to rearrange 7 to 26 with the pieces we have here. Exactly. There must be some hint that we're still missing. A double meaning, maybe. Hmm, I'll give it a bit more thought, then. Number 26. Hmm. Hi, Izzy. Hello. How are you? Hello. Um. This doesn't look vaguely like a six, does it? Mmm. I don't think so. Can you try flipping the um I that one? Pieces. No, but but can you try flipping it with the one below it? Like with the you dark like square? The... Or... Yeah, sorry. The the light one, that one. Yeah. Nope, nope, sorry. The one below it. That that full the full the full clear one, the full uh mint one. No, no, the one directly above the, the below the slanted piece, sorry. Directly above. <laughs> Sorry. No, okay. So go to your right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yes, okay. A, so th B. Three B. Flip it with three C. Mm. Hmm. No, I thought maybe it would, but uh no. Ooh, getting your new PC tomorrow? That's so exciting. I've been good. It's been a hot minute. I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Solid light with solid dark? Hmm. We have these parallelograms here. Ink. Ray, any thoughts on the puzzle? Once yeah, again, like... this one looks more like a riddle than an actual puzzle. I don't know the answer yet, but let's use what we have learned from the first puzzle to help with this one. And, uh, what have we learned from the first puzzle? The last puzzle revolved around negative space. When the clue hinted at a cross, it was actually hinting at the absence of a cross. I'd say there's a good chance that this one might revolve around negative space too, but this one feels a bit more complicated. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, I'm really hoping we can play Phasmo again soon. I'm saying, yeah, God, it's been so long since we played Phasmophobia. Wow. I've heard they've gotten like a billion more updates since then. Too bad. Yeah, I feel like if we could turn the pieces, it would be a lot easier, but.
Uh, I don't know. Ink. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, mm -hmm. did I say that already? No. I guess I read it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. Liza, are you going to help us out this time? I guess I forgot that I was both of the... I don't know, that was dumb. Yes. Huh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Why the change of heart? I've just been told that my life is on the line, so there's that. Fair enough. Anyway, what do you think of this puzzle? I'm not quite sure yet. Give me a minute to get a good look at it. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so does that mean that they will give it more hand cues then? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, apparently there's a campsite now. That sounds terrifying. Where wh do you go in the tent? How do you hide from the ghosts? I have accomplished nothing but look it's so pretty. It is very pretty. Nice little like uh, uh, like a hallway there kind of. In a mental hospital, but apparently it's really buggy. Ooh, that sucks. Sometimes bugs are good, but not in that case. Hmm. Hiding in the tents from ghosts with difficulty judging from the stream I saw. Yeah, I can't imagine that works well. Hmm. Sad. Is there, is there anything else that number 26 could mean? Because to me, like, the, the hash, the, the, the number sign, the hashtag, the pound symbol, whatever you want to call it, that, like, what? What do you mean? Of course it does. Oh, god damn it. Fuck you, Aver. <laughs> Wait, what? I know what it says now. What did she say? What? <laughs> I'm so lost. Ink was like, ink was, ink was like, it turned seven into 26, and Aether was like, no, 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 no. It says turn seven into number 26. Okay. God damn. It wants me to make a Z. <gasps> oh! Okay. I, number 26. I, okay, I was trying to think. I was like, that's what I was wondering. I was like, is there anything else? And the fact that there's like the number sign there, I was like, I was confused on like what that could mean, but that makes sense. Okay. I hate this. 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 Okay. So how do I make a Z? Like this, except less ugly. <laughs> exactly like that, except less ugly. Oh my yep. god. Yep. Okay, so cool. Now, so I know the solution to the answer to the puzzle. Yeah. Now, how do I make the damn thing? <laughs> yeah. Fucking fold-out pictogram bullshit isn't my specialty. No mood. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know if the Z is the negative. I guess assume the Z might be the negative space, Bri. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's supposed to be like. Z do do, so this okay. works exactly. So if we did something like that, and mm -hmm. then oh, that might be it. It isn't it. It doesn't look like it. It's just one diagonal. Yeah. It doesn't look like it goes like this at all. Hmm. Top top and bottom are completely black, sure. Hmm. 
Oh, there it is. Oh. No, I'm Except staying. I'm off. Hmm. Except I'm not off. The game is just stupid. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Thanks, Bree. Good job, Kay. Thank you, Bree. Hey, I was right! What are you talking about, Ink? You Aether was right, you dumb shit. I mean, technically speaking, I didn't let Aether finish her clue. She just said, it's that... not the actual physical number 26. It means the number 26 of something. I guess that's and fair. Then Ink, and then Ink proceeded to make the Z on his own without talking to anyone else. I, I, maybe it's the type of game where if you get more and more hints, this dialogue changes too. Oh, maybe. That would be kind of cool. A little that more dynamic. Kinda... I love logic puzzles way uh, too much. Valid, Brie. You're so valid. Uh, you are our brain? <laughs> True. Think amen. Ask any of the brain cells. Oh? How is that the answer? The number 26 in the clue refers to the letter Z. 26th letter of the alphabet. Turns out you can draw a Z if you get crafty with the tiles. Pretty sharp, sure, Bank. That was certainly harder than the last puzzle. Congratulations, contestants. That was the correct solution. Before you proceed, I feel like it is res my responsibility to issue a warning. The 24-hour time limit, while important, should not be your immediate concern. The explosives I've planted are far from the most dangerous thing in this hotel. I have refrained from throwing anything harmful at you thus far, but I assure you that the safety is temporary. Love that. There! I've opened the way! Welcome to Exit Corners. I am looking forward oh to watching you all struggle. And you will struggle. Fuck, that's ominous. Or you could die. Thanks, Scent. Hey, he's got a catchphrase. <laughs> and that guy's a real piece of work. Why does he look like he's made of paper mache? People these days are so strange. Paper mache? That's what he reminds you of? Well, she wouldn't know anonymous. Yeah. You know that's not really him, right? It's just a computer-generated image he's using to keep us keep us from seeing his real face. Same with his voice. It's completely synthetic. I'll have you know this is my natural voice. <laughs> my rage is fucking phenomenal. Hell You're yeah. Oh, is that so? Buying a rundown hotel. Rigging all these contraptions and creating computer-generated images? I'm no expert, but wouldn't these things cost a fortune? Maybe the rich girl's behind it? Honestly, the Semtex seems like it would be the most expensive part of this operation. Yeah. Because, um, honestly, buying a bunch of monitors, assumably, like, 30 or so, enough to fill the, to fill the place. Like, it depends on how old the hotel is, right? Uh, real estate gets iffy. But generally speaking, yeah. the longer something's been out of use, the less expensive it'll be because it'll have lower value because no one is no one is buying it. No and nobody's kept up with it. it. So... Yeah, that's the true. Part of it would be the explosives and cleaning the place up and making it look presentable, right? Yeah. Um, the monitors themselves wouldn't be very expensive, maybe a hundred dollars each. Um, if you wanted them to be sturdy. Or yeah. maybe more or if you wanted them to be sturdy. Um, but then you could just hook them all up to like a couple computers. It yeah. wouldn't be very hard. Up, hook them up to yeah now, this operation isn't terribly terribly expensive like maybe like at least from what we've seen so far yeah um the watch more them be like see, yeah death trap expensive i was gonna say watch there be like super rare sh extinct sharks or something in one of the rooms yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
That's a good point, Brie, on the Max Headroom thing. I don't know if she would watch that sort of thing, but it would be a good parallel. No, it wouldn't be within a normal person's price range. This is correct. But someone who just gets off on death games could easily just live like a hermit for a while and stop and stack paper to put something like this together, you know? This is well within yeah. someone's normal within like a few years <laughs> if exit corners really is the work of a single person then that person would have to be pretty well off <laughs> raise remark hit home a certain redhead soon became the center of everyone's attention I would argue that Aether has more red hair than Liza does her hair's brown I think yeah. you're contrasting it against the green Maybe, I don't know, but Liza looks freaking blonde to me, so I don't know. But anyways. Her hair's definitely more orange than red. Mm, I guess, I don't know. I'm not very good with colors, so I'll defer. Why are you all staring at me? My father and I are extremely wealthy. Did I get that right? Right, because my family is the only entity in the entire world that has any money. Oh, and that must mean I'm a deranged sociopath who locks herself in a hotel with a bunch of strangers in an attempt to get herself killed. I mean, the richer you are, the more extravagant your suicide has to be, right? <laughs> I've got to hand it to you, Ray. Your reasoning is flawless. Sarcasm won't do you any good. I'm not saying you're behind all this. Frankly, I don't think you're smart enough. And to be honest, I don't think it's within one person's power to run this whole game on their own. But you're definitely adding something. I know you are. You've been acting real suspicious all morning. Especially now. What do you mean, suspicious? Don't th Oh. Oh, you shit! You were right! Fuck! Don't think I haven't noticed your hand. I'll have you know my eyes are still in excellent shape. It wasn't just art style! Yeah, yeah, good catch, Kay. Huh? What's wrong with her hand? Every now and then she makes peculiar gestures with the, gestures with the right hand. To me, it looks like she's making some kind of signal. A sign language, perhaps? It's, it's just a nervous tick, that's all. It's normal. Uh, so Kay saw that there's like a weird like divot on one of her fingers. Yep. Oh, excuse me. The shaking, the shaking in your voice is telling me otherwise. Oh shit! Yeah. How do you want to treat Liza? Oh god. I doubt this game has much romance in it. No, yeah, I don't think that it's gonna be sort of a thing. I'm just. So I'm wondering because like. So Sense said that, like, you should, like, you should be your first priority, like, teaming up and things like that is, like, not necessarily a good idea. But I also wonder if that's, like, actually, like, not true. If maybe, like, teaming up with other people is the way to beat the game. In, like, in a, in a, like, an underhanded kind of way. But fuck. Don't worry about it, Bree. It's not, it's not something, like, yeah. something normal that you would, you would point out. I was just, I was just pointing out that these... Her knuckles are weirdly drawn, and that's not something normal people would, like, look at. <laughs> I'm just fucking pedantic about everything. <laughs> um, I'm inclined to say spit it out, but I don't know if we're going to get an answer. So you think you'll just antagonize her without any gain? Um, this is what I'm wondering, is, like, maybe she'll, like, run away crying into the other room. And then also I'm worried, like... Where the fuck's she gonna go? Well, no, he said he said he unlocked the way, and we heard yeah, a door yeah, unlock. Yeah. Where the fuck's he? Where the fuck's she gonna go? But see, but what I'm what I'm worried about is that she's gonna run into the other room, and, and lock in. well, no, I'm worried because he just warned us that he might throw a more dangerous thing at us. So I'm worried she's gonna like run in there, and there's gonna be like a saw or something like that. She's gonna get our head cut off or something. Sure, 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 sure. So okay. I don't, don't know. You don't want to antagonize her. <sighs> or you do, like me personally. 
I, I, I'll fucking antagonize her. I'll See, bully this I, bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a person, I want to antagonize her. As a as a trying to be logical thinker and a paranoid person, I don't. So. This is your stream. I don't give a fuck. Ah, shit. Fuck. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I guess give her some space. Give her some space, guys. You're being overly paranoid about all of this. Give her some space? She could be working with scent. As could any of us. It's all just conjecture. But she's hiding something. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. She's hiding something for sure. But whether it's significant or even relevant is a different matter. Come on, I'm sure she isn't the only one with the thing she'd rather not talk about. Yeah, what he said. Whatever. I'm done with you, chumps. Oh shit, did he just go into another room? Fuck. What a loser. Should we give Ray a moment? No, we ought to follow him. The only thing we're at liberty to do right now is to continue playing Exit Corners. Yeah, yeah, see, she's closer to blonde. Mm, I guess that's fair. I don't know. Honey, honey, honey blonde, let's call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's just that when you're contrasting it against the red, it's natural to think that it's... When you're contrasting it against the green. Yeah, it, may, it does make it pop a little more. Yeah. And and her hair is definitely... Uh, Liza's hair is definitely a lighter shade of summery. Yeah. It's, it's definitely closer to orange than red. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with you there. You know... The more often I hear exit corners, the stranger it sounds. What's it supposed to mean? I wish I could answer that. I wish I could answer anything. Why? Why are we brought here? Who's sent? Who am I monologuing to? <laughs> Turns to the camera. And what is exit corners? He said the name of the game! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you kind of weren't. You kind of weren't kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's so funny. Distant contact. Okay, so I'm guessing that so there's two guesses for how this chapter goes. Either one, whoever we antagonize, so either we antagonize her, she runs off, or we take her side and Ray runs off. Somebody's going to be trapped somewhere and we're going to have to get them out. And that's why it's going to be quote unquote distant contact. Or it's going to have to be the people in our contacts that we have to contact them for some reason for this chapter. My two predictions. Fucking phone a friend millionaire bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to play millionaire. Fuck trivia shows. Millionaire would be a lot. Oh shit. Hey, careful. Bree just said she likes trivia, so. I mean, Ooh. Why would the contacts stop working this early in the game when we haven't used them at all? Hmm. Maybe so, it's. And I, and, I and I didn't say fuck trivia or even fuck trivia games. Very specifically, fuck trivia shows. Okay, that's okay. I. Well, uh, that's fair. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna judge. I just, you know. Misunderstood where you're going. <laughs> Exit Corners. It was the name of the game that Ink and his fellow contestants had no choice but to play. The goal was simple. Explore the Four Elements Hotel and find the exit. The hotel was, stated to, was slated to collapse in 24 hours, killing those still trapped inside. The one claiming to be responsible for their predicament was a figure named Scent. His motives, as well as his true identity, remained a mystery to Ink. According to Scent, many puzzles and dangers awaited the contestants. Ink couldn't fathom why either were necessary. Whatever the reason, Ink knew it would be essential to proceed with caution from here on out. I'm I glad like... that you're not offended that people don't like, like trivia, because I, I, I just, I, I'm, I don't like trivia, but that's because I'm bad at it. I'm garbage and trivia i know nothing <laughs> i'm stupid oh i don't think that's true 
I think you know lots of cool trivia. I just think that like maybe trivia does require a certain amount of like generic knowledge, and I think that you're really good with like trivia on specific things. Very specific literary things and very specific yeah. pseudo scientific shit. <laughs> The chamber connected to the lounge was barely large enough for all five contestants. If anything, it seemed more like an extension of the previous room. It's definitely going to slowly close in on us, crushing us into paste. We have a time limit. It's going to be ten minutes, maybe five. Another monitor. So this door's probably locked, too. I guess scent doesn't ex excel in the creativity department. You're gonna regret those words. <laughs> Ray sit in front of the screen. Already at work solving whatever puzzle can Damn, did it play through. the message and everything already? Fuck. Hey, want a hand, Ray? I'm close to figuring it out. Don't distract me. I might be able to solve it faster. I might be able to help you solve it faster, you know. I said, don't distract me! Shit. Yup, he's still pretty angry. I want to help with the puzzle, but the last thing I want to do is start a fight with this guy. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Liza's side back there. Alright, whatever, dude. Ink to the face of the other three contestants. Ray, you're behaving like a child. Save your breath. He's not even listening to us anymore. So, uh... What are we supposed to do now? We should still solve the puzzle, right? It's the only way forward. Hmm. That's right, Aether. Solving the puzzle is our only option. Ray can ignore us all he likes, but we don't need his help with this. Well, let's get started then. No. Excuse me. The puzzle can wait. Let's head back into the lounge. It should be a hacking puzzle. Huh? Why? It's important. Now follow me. What could be more important than the puzzle? She got a text from her daddy. I suppose I can spare her a few minutes of my time. You sure about that, Beth? Just a few minutes ago, you had her under pretty intense scrutiny. That's precisely why I want to hear from her. I'll join you, Beth. Well, if anyone could figure the puzzle out on their own, it's probably Ray. Giving him some space not, might not be a bad idea. You two go on ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Beth and Aether exchange note before leaving. Hey, Ray. What? Can you come get us when you solve the puzzle? Or when you get stuck? Yeah, don't worry. Thanks. Leaving Ray alone with the puzzle, ink double back to the lounge. Alright, I'm here. Good. You've all been given one of these, right? Oh, I'd almost forgotten about my Gemini. And Sean, for that matter. Yeah, I've got one. Well, what are you waiting for? Send your contact a message asking for help. If we can get our contacts to look for us, we might be able to get out of here without having to play the stupid game. Right. Ink followed your example and reached for his Gemini. Why would you be able to use your own something the captors gave you to escape your captors? Yeah, I don't think she's the brightest crayon in the tool shed. It certainly is strange. Why hold us captive if we can just call for help? Who cares? The important thing is we have these phones. There's no point in not using them. I suppose you're right. Even so... You know how to use one of these, right, Beth? Jesus. 
I do, though I'm rather slow at selecting the right letters. I can type out a few messages out for you, if you like. You don't need to do that either. I'd hate to waste your time. Oh, don't you worry about that. It won't take long. If you insist, I suppose there's no harm in trying. Either knelt, knelt down next to Beth and they began to compose a message for Beth's contact. Their whispers soon made way for rapid tapping of screens. <laughs> she does have the brightness up a lot comparing hers to Liza's. You're not wrong. That's a very old person thing to do. Like, my grandma's is like... Mm -hmm. Sean, please tell me you're there. Yo, it's your boy Sean. Why is he texting like that? You back on campus yet? Sean, listen, what I'm about to tell you probably won't make any sense, but I need you to pay attention. I think I'm serious in danger. In serious danger. Sounds like you someone had a bad morning. Did you ever run with that girl's dad? Worse than that, I'm afraid. You know that story where a psycho kidnaps a bunch of people and forces them to play a game? Isn't every story like that these days? Which one are you referring to? Point is, I've been kidnapped and I'm trapped in a hotel. I've got 24 hours to make it out of this here, uh, out of this here, or I'm going to die. <laughs> you high, bud? This isn't a joke, Sean. You're my contact, and Scent said I'll need your help to get out of here. Why are you saying Scent like he knows who that is? What the fuck are you on going on about? I understand none of that. I'll explain later. Can you just promise me you'll do what I ask? Yeah, I guess. Better not be asking for more money. I swear to fucking God. Yeah, for real. You need to send some help over to a hotel called the Four Elements. Police, fire crew, anything. I don't even know where that is, bud. I was, is that in Bellbridge? I was about to say, maybe they're not even in Bellbridge anymore. I'm not sure. Look that up for me. I can do that. I'm not on my computer right now. They're not real. You think? The contacts aren't real. They're computer generated. Interesting. They what? aren't. They aren't. They. They're. They're not real. They're <gasps> message. It, it would be fucking stupid to give your fucking kidnappies messages that can send information out into the outside world. No, 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 no. These are going straight to computers. So if there are so if there are puzzles that require help from outside sources, they can get the answers they need, while uh, like giving them hope from of maybe seeing the outside world again sometime. I don't know. And then when they go back to whatever their contacts afterwards, they'll say like, "PDA, what, bro? It's 2014. You gotta play." <laughs> I don't know. That that, that, that fucking meme was like, <laughs> pandemic? What? <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's 2012. We gotta go for Obama. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go for Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's such a specific example. <laughs> Bro, oh my well, god. Bro, that's such a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you gotta wake up and join the real world. It's, it's X. It's XX here. We gotta focus on X Y thing that yeah. was popular during XX year. The, the, <laughs> that is a very funny meme. I just the spe specificity of we gotta vote for Obama. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good one though, because you instantly know what year. <laughs> well, there's like a fifty fifty shot. You have a fifty fifty no, shot of no, knowing no. what year it is. No, the, no, the federal elections were not during 2014. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about your actual phone? Left in my room. Saws. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start talking like scent. <laughs> Maybe in a deeper register. There you go. Left in my room. Saws. I thought you were busy shit posting. I have many exciting hobbies. Such as booching free brunch from the bookstore guy. But I can head back to my room and starve if that's what you want. I can tell you still don't believe me, but if you ever considered yourself my friend, then please help me out. I'm sorry, there's... 
I have many exciting hobbies. What are robotic fucking lives? I know, it literally looks like, such as, insert response here. What are, what are robotic fucking lives? What psychopath types like this? This is a computer. This is so an AI. Holy yeah, I would be genuinely surprised at this point after you putting this out if they were real people. What psychopath? Types like this. Holy shit. If this is a real person, I'll be pissed. Alright, buddy. I'm on it. I'll message you when I find the address of this Four Elements place. Thanks. That'd be a huge help. Be back later, then. Hang in there. No fucking frat boy texts like this. What the fuck? It goes back and forth between being kind of accurate and then just wildly inaccurate. And then no being between. by a computer, mm. by a literal computer. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, good news, everyone. My friend Sean is going to look up our location and send help. I'm not on my computer right now. This is actually... <laughs> this takes place in 2019. In what <laughs> world are you not near something that can access the internet? At a college? <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't, I, I... Yeah, and, like, who just, like, leaves their phone? Like, what teenage young adult, like, leaves their phone? Like, I understand not being on their phone all the time, but who just leaves their phone at home? No, so, Bree, what he said, he can't Google on his phone because he left his phone in his room. What about your actual phone? Left it in my room. But yet he brought his Gemini with him. Yeah, why, why Why? do you have this random-ass tablet with you, but not your actual fucking phone? This, 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 this is a ruse. We're being yeah. played. We're getting played so hard right now. That's great. You think it'll take him long? He should get back to me shortly. He's a bit of a joker sometimes, but he's not one to dawdle when something important is on the line. Um, I think in the last one he said it was like in his mailbox. I think in the la in the first yeah. chapter, I think. Yeah, it was in his mailbox or something. Which, if if he's like at like a dormitory or, or at an apartment, it would make sense that. Well, hmm. I don't know how mailboxes work at apartments. Actually, I'm not going to speak on um, the subject. Well, some of them have different ones, but usually there's, like, one big mail room, and, um, I don't know about dorms, but apartments, there's usually one big mail room, and everybody just has their little key, and they just go in there and take their box. It's kind of like a P.O. box, almost. Yeah, I don't know. There was a brief lull. It was only that, it was only then that Ink noticed Beth's demeanor. Her skin had turned to pasty white color, and her once excellent posture had dressed into a slouch. What's the matter, Beth? Oh, it's not computer generated. Hmm. It's 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 just sent. It's just sent operating everything. Yeah. Maybe he can only I, do I respond to like one now, at a time. Now that now that he's not texting us, Beth might get a reply. Yeah, yeah. He Beth can only do so much. She sent him a message, but there hasn't been a reply. Don't worry, Beth. Your contact probably isn't near their Gemini right now. Either that or they haven't received it yet, right? He simply doesn't want to talk to me. I'm not expecting a reply. Maybe it's like her estranged son and Scent is just playing the part. If you don't mind me asking, who is your contact, Beth? Ink, I'm not sure that's something she wants to talk about right now. It's fine, Aether. I think it would be best if we didn't keep any secrets. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Liza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what ours is like. My mind's like, Brie. My contact is named Earl. He's my son. Maybe he doesn't respond to you because you named him Earl. My name Earl. Oh, I had no idea. Why would you? 
That seems like an incredibly personal thing to know of something. Yeah, really. Your own son doesn't even want to talk to you? Heesh. Gross. Shut the hell up. Shut oh, the fuck up. Now. Shut the fuck up. No, there are worse names than Earl, absolutely. We haven't spoken for quite some time, and I'm afraid the last time we spoke, we didn't exactly end it on a positive note. It must be some cruel joke that sent chose him as my contact. I just think Earl sounds like the kind of name that, like, should belong to an older person. Like, I just can't imagine. There's certain names that I just can't imagine naming a baby, and Earl is one of them. What if there's a priority list? Like, Liza's at the top, and then Ink. Hmm. And then Aether and Ray. Ray. Aether and Ray. And then Beth, Beth's somewhere. at the bottom. And then, and then Beth's all the way at the bottom because why would her son respond to anything? Yeah, maybe. I don't suppose we'll be getting any help from him then. That's all right. My father should be able to get us rescued. I right, take it you've made some progress. I've told him the name of the hotel. Once he determines my exact location, he'll be sending some of my personal escorts to extract me. I'm thinking, wondering if Bree's, um, he, she mentioned that maybe that's not the real name of the hotel. I'm wondering if maybe that's the case, too. He just picked out a name, and that's not actually what it is. That's why nobody could find oh. it. If they, if they are real. I wouldn't be surprised. Personal escorts? So they're like your bodyguards? Something like that. They're the best of the best. Well, we already chose to not be antagonistic. <laughs> yeah. That sounds pretty serious. Did your father have enemies? Who is he exactly? Or it's a chain like Four Seasons. That is also an option. His name is Nolan Thatcher, and nobody with a smidgen of common sense would try to cross him. He's as influential as he is wealthy. If he's as influential as you say he is, then surely he must have some enemies. This is the part where I would say if he was so influential, we would know his name. But college students don't care about. Well, that shit. is true. You'd have to be so like. Beth would recognize his name. Yeah, you'd have Old to be like. All this shit. You'd have to be like Jeff Bezos level fancy to even maybe have an impact. Beth might have some recognition. Yeah. Other than a kid who keyed our car and some asshole who tried to burn down our house, I don't know, that seems kind of like a big deal. No, I can't think of anyone. Why do you ask? He, he, you, your father definitely has some enemies. Just... Probably just hides him from you. So as overt as this. Earlier this morning, you said that you had a feeling that someone would try this eventually. Now you're telling me that your dad hires out elite escorts for you? It sure sounds like someone's got it in for either you or your father. That's different. You okay, Kay? Just let him in her hand. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you were processing something. That that pause usually means that you're you're processing. No, just. I think it's just the first two fingers. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, because I think this is actually just her knuckle. Maybe she I'm was sure. kidnapped before, and she had her first two fingers chopped off and like sent to her dad or something like that. Holy shit. That'd be metal as fuck. <laughs> How so? I'm just worth protecting, that's all. Okay. That probably This has happened before. This has yeah. happened before. Yeah. And also Holy shit. Also that might have a double meaning, but like it just comes across as very like uh, self absorbed. Uh, no, wait, it might just be art style. I don't know. It, 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 there, there's something on the first finger, at least. So maybe yeah. this has happened before. Yeah. 
That's a cover-up for something if I've ever heard one. Whatever. Hey, Aether. What is it? Isn't your contact your father? Yeah. Same as me, then. Yeah. Same as you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If she's in on it, then they're half sisters. Oh! If either is in on it, then they are related. That would be that would be interesting. I could see that. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I am just I the, the the plot twists are setting up real early. And I'm just <laughs> picking them out left and right. I'm reading the foreshadowing like weather boys read the forecast, you know? Yeah, <laughs> weather boys read the forecast. That's very funny. Um, the hair color thing is a good point because, like, maybe that's why she still looks kind of blondish even though they're saying she's red hair. Like, that could be a deliberate choice to still make her... Because they could have gone full red if they wanted to. Um, that could be, a yeah, like a deliberate choice. Did you ask your dad to send some help too, Aether? I don't think he'll be of much help to us. I'm sorry. Aether looked away flustered. Ink hadn't a clue what the deal with her father was, but felt genuinely sorry for having brought it up. She's in on it. She's the ousted child. This is a revenge plot against her father. None of the other contacts are real, but Liza's is. Hmm. Yeah, could be. That's a that's a good good theory. Don't worry about it then. If it's any consolation, my dad wouldn't be of any help either. Maybe the whole theme is deadbeat parents. Jesus Christ, maybe. Because that's maybe that's why Beth's contact is her son. And maybe, maybe like it's 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 meant to be like a, oh no, this sad poor woman, um, her son won't talk to her because he's a meanie. But in reality, like she abused him or like something like that, and she's actually the bad guy. Maybe. But why does he have frat boy then? I I don't know. Ray had returned. Oh Ray, have you solved the puzzle already? Not really, no. Just taking a small break. My hands are starting to cramp up, so I thought I'd come sit down. Um, so we don't know for sure how old she is, but she said she was a senior, which in some places starts at, like, 55, and some places starts more at, like, 60 or 50, 65. So I would say probably at least 60. His hands are cramping up? What? Didn't you say you were close to figuring it out? Well, my first solution fell through. My other method has taken me a while. Besides, if I rest a bit, I might be able to solve it the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way? Funny, I was under the impression that programmers were good at problem-solving. Look to see you do better. A spoiled little girl like you doesn't have a... Why do I feel like you're, like... A... Oh! <laughs> what is that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I... This is not... This is blowing into paranoia. I'm just oh, gonna no. stop reading. I'm just gonna stop reading into paranoia. Everybody's in on it. Than... Oh, oh, she could... Hmm. Mm -hmm. She might be old enough to be a grandparent. You think that Beth's somebody's grandparent? Grandma? And you think, like, the dad's responding, like, like, maybe, like, uh, Earl is, well, no, Earl, so Earl can't be, so her, her, her dad's name is Norman, her son's name is Earl, we don't know Aether's father's name. Maybe, like, Earl's, like, his Sean middle name or something. Maybe. Sean exists, maybe. Sean is maybe. 
Yeah, I don't know. If they both have the same father, maybe he's Beth's son, changed his name. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering. Maybe, like, he changed his name or started going by his middle name or something like that. I don't think Liza would be the kind of person that would be good, be like, oh my god, your son's name is Earl, my dad's middle name is Earl, but it, so changing the name might be a little more, somebody that famous would probably want to change their name anyways. Interesting. My name Earl? <laughs> and I'm thankful for that, the only talent you seem to have is giving up. Yeah, I changed last name too. Oh, I'm I thought- I'm not giving up, I'm just- Stop! I thought he slapped her for a second. Beth, for one, for the second time today, had brought their argument to a call with one well-timed shout. She had a powerful voice. This is ridiculous. Can you just once speak to each other without getting into a fight? Maybe we ought to give Ray his break and get started on the puzzle ourselves. What do you say to that, Liza? Fine. We've all messaged our contacts, so we can go. I look help with the puzzle, too. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Let's hop to it. <laughs> Get out and yell Earl and see if he turns around. Ink, do you think you could keep Ray company while he and Liza let off some steam? Uh, I can do that, I guess. Thank you. See if you can get him to message his contact while you're at it. Sure. Beth and the other girls made their way into the next room. Now alone with Ray, Ink struggled to find a suitable conversation starter. So, uh, how is the puzzle? God, Ink, you're so fucking dumb. Well, this one's tougher than the other two. You think Scent made this one unbeatable? Why make the third fucking puzzle unbeatable? Right, that's uh, dumb. Is that, does that sound like a good idea to you, Ink? Does that... He's... No. Sen might be completely nuts, but I don't think he'd do something like that. We've been told multiple times that we're playing a game, and it's not a game if you can't win. This puzzle is different from the others, that's all. It's less of a tile thing and more of a button thing. I... Are his eyes drawn weirdly in this frame? They look very squinty, if that's what you're saying. And like, maybe he's like shifting to the side or something? I can't see his pupil in this eye. And it's throwing um, me off. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to tell my screen's not really big enough. I can't it's tell making if- him look like He's making him look lazy-eyed. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. It, 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 it's very derpy. Yeah. I, I, I can't focus on anything else. <laughs> oh, no. Not as detailed a description as I would liked, but okay. You know? See, now his eyes are closed! Yeah. <laughs> Got all these weird-ass things to happen to me this morning. These puzzles have got to be the most confusing. I mean, what? Are, why are they even here? Well, I would have something to gain from this. I've been wondering that myself. Maybe Scent is one of those Darwinist freaks. Darwinist? You mean like natural selection? Yeah, maybe Scent is convinced that if we can't solve these puzzles, then we're not fit to remain in the gene pool. Well, that's a pretty messed up theory. So I guess it makes more sense than most of what I heard today. Hey, Ray. Can I ask you something? No, but you're gonna anyway. Yeah, for real. Yeah, what is it? Oh, shit. Uh... I think contact's probably the most relevant. Santa Santa, that's funny. Okay. Unless this is a trick, but I don't think so. Who's your contact? The person on the other end of your Gemini? Why? What's it to you? I'm just curious, that's all. And you never know, it might be important. Well, too bad. You are going to tell me? Nope. If Liza is allowed to keep her secrets, then so am I. I can't really argue with that, I guess. We wouldn't be able to get any help from them anyway. As far as you're concerned, I have no contact. 
Uh, sure. Abandoned father. Why do mm. I think you're also related to this weird family tree over here? Hmm, maybe. Maybe they all have an abandoned father and he was just going around. And, like, Liza seems to be the youngest, so maybe he was just going around and... She's the legitimate one. Yeah, he, he just happened to be the one she, he stuck with for some reason. Maybe because he'd made his fortune by that point or something. I never want you to bring this up again. Do you understand? Multiple kids? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay, okay, sorry I asked. Anyway, it's been a minute or two. I want to give the others some help with the puzzle. Fine. Andy's up a bit, so I'm ready to get back to it. Or else the mothers didn't know his real name to sue for child support. True. It was a pretty clumsy excuse, but Ink was happy that Ray seemed to have calmed down a little. He marched over to the door, but Ray cut ahead of him and through first. Aether and Beth huddled around the mother in quiet contemplation. Liza was set off to the side, focused on her Gemini. Any luck, ladies? No, we haven't been able to figure it out yet. I haven't had a look yet. I've still got to fill my father in on some details. Let me take a crack at it then. Oh, I was assuming this was a glare off the screen. Maybe it's just a oh, button. Oh, maybe. Oh no, I guess it was just a glare. Sort by sort color? By Oh, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Could it be like printers use... Red, green, and blue ink. Uh, and then papers. Black, white, and red all over. The newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn it. A skunk dipped in ketchup? I have never heard that one before. I like that. You're not going to give me any information. So, Ray. So... <laughs> yeah. It's not the way that answer's phrased, but I don't remember. I still like it. Were you able to figure anything out in your time alone? No, not really. Couldn't figure it out, so I decided to just brute force it. Brute force it? It means to try every possible combination in rapid succession. Of course, you usually write a program to do it for you, so that might not have been the right word. So, you just try to put input. <clears throat> you just try to input every single possible combination of button presses in order. That's right. Password looks like it's five symbols long, and there are only four symbols to choose from. That means there are only a thousand twenty-four possible combinations. If you go through them systematically, you're bound to get the correct password eventually. Right. But did you really think that was the fastest way to find the correct answer? Well, no. But my original idea didn't work, and that was the only other way I knew how to solve this thing. And when it was taking longer than expected, you wanted to take a break? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Well, what was the first way? Tell me that. Yeah, I know. I was like, that might have been helpful. Sort by color, huh? But the symbols are all in black and white. If the previous two puzzles are anything to go by, it's probably some sort of riddle. So each of the symbols represents a color? I think you're on the right track, but I don't think it's possible that each button represents only a single color. Oh, why not? The answer must be five symbols long, but there are only four buttons. That means at least one of the buttons is repeated. Unless we're supposed to leave the last tile blank. 
They can't all represent just one color. They must be indicative of something else. Huh. That makes sense. Yeah, I think you it sure? might be... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think it might be. I think it's an English or something game. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really looked too much into the developer, but I don't think it's... I've read your letter. Oh. Yeah. I was hoping that color was a clue. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. I don't know what green is. Blue might be a tape. Listening to the blues. That's true. Or no, House of Blues, maybe? Or a greenhouse? Greenhouse. Listen to the blues. Um. It could be. See, so do you think that last one's supposed to be read as, like, black? Yeah. So it could be black male. Red letter. Greenhouse. I think you might have something because red letter can be a phrase. Red letter greenhouse. Blue tape. Blue facts. Blue print. Blue print. Oh Fucker. shit, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, gray. Blue print, white. Or is it white? White. White House? Would it be White House again? Or, and then Black Mail? White House, Black Mail. Fuck. Fuck. Damn, I thought we had that. I was gonna be so proud of us. <laughs> Shit, okay. Red Letter Green House Blueprint. Gray? White oh, House could also be Red Tape. Print. Yeah, yeah, Red Tape would be good. Hmm. Red tape, greenhouse, blueprint. White house, blackmail. <gasps> oh shit! Holy shit, I can't believe we got that! Thank you for your help, Bree! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh my god. Red tape. That's a good- yeah, I, I would not have thought of that one. Okay, so what was it? White House? Uh, I think it was White House Blackmail, I think. Yeah, White House Blackmail, yeah. Sorry, I think I threw you off with the red letter. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. I think- I, no, I, I I don't think so. I-, I Even if you did, you redeemed sure yourself. Can... Yeah, because I think you said, I mean, like, like, red, like, reading. I, I, yeah, I read the mail or something. Yeah. I think so. How is that the solution? I think I get it. They're all um, expressions. Right. From left to right, we got red tape, greenhouse, blueprint, white house, and blackmail. Do you think yeah. those are all clues? I'm pretty sure if you talk to, like, Beth, Beth gives you clues. Beth is... The old people know all the expressions. No, I mean, like, I mean, like, do you think that's a clue to, like, I don't uh, know, is Norman, like, the fucking president and somebody blackmailed him? I don't know. I'm almost certain that I, I, I'm, I guarantee you I'm thinking too hard about this. Yeah. Nothing I've said is correct. No, I'm not sure about that. I think you have some good theories. I think I'm also thinking too hard into this, though. <sighs> that puzzle was stupid. Oh, yeah? I think you're just angry that you couldn't figure it out. You're one to talk. You just stood there staring at your Gemini the entire time. Oh, please. I just got all of us rescued, thank you very much. Oh, is your father sending help? Yeah, I filled him in on pretty much everything that's happened so far. As soon as he finds the location of this hotel, he'll be sending his best men after us. Yeah, if Norman's the president, he'd better have better security. True that. It's awesome news, Liza. My contact Sean is also searching for the address, so if he finds it before your father does. Ooh. 
A familiar sound echoed throughout the tiny chamber. He peeked at his Gemini screen, but saw no notifications. Did Beth send? <gasps> yep! That's... that's mine! Earl! He got back to me! Oh wow, it is glowing. Look at that. Yeah. It's awesome, Beth. It looks like your son wants to talk to you, after all. Unless it just says, don't fucking text me. Aether, would you mind helping me compose a message once again? Oh, I still can't believe it. No problem, Beth. Bring your Gemini over here. I'm happy for her, you know. Hmm? Are you talking to me? I think it's great that even after all this time of not speaking to one another, Beth's son is still willing to help her out in a time of need. Yeah, that's really magical. I'm on the verge of tears. Sorry for trying to be positive. Oh, that one's me. Okay, Sean, let's see if you found anything out. Hey, Ink. What took you so long? You found the address, right? How about that, Ink? I've got some good news and some bad news. I, I have a feeling that Bree's idea of it being a chain is probably right. Real original. Anyway, spill. The good news is that the actress I found for the Four Elements Hotel points to downtown Belbridge. Oh, okay. So I'm in Belbridge after all. Thanks for letting me know. But of course there's the bad news. What is it? The Four Elements Hotel no longer exists. Oh, shit. What? That was a typo, right? It was closed down around 12, 20 years ago and was subsequently demolished. I have several NSFW words for this. Are you sure you're in the right hotel? There's gotta be another hotel named the Four Elements. That's all there is to it. The next closest one is way out of the country. There's no way you could have made it there from Belbridge in a day. I wonder if we've been asleep for longer than a day. Ink? Are you there? Hello? Oh shit. I Whew. like that in chat. You do? I do. That's yeah. a shift of. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I so far the pacing in this has been pretty good. Mhm. Mm like I was I a little like concerned it. about it being like a like a chapter kind of thing, because those can go either way sometimes. But so far they've done a really good job pacing it. I'm pretty sure it's because these were all like posted uh, separately, like. A chapter every however long. Yeah. So they all have their own contained little subsections. Yeah, I guess that's fair. So they have to be somewhat complete. Yeah. Or not but contained, right? Little short right. stories. Making up a bigger piece of a yeah, whole. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Can we can we take a look and see uh, what the next chapter's name is? Has it been about one puzzle per chapter? Yeah, so far it's been one puzzle per chapter. Next chapter. That's, That's sinking. sinking really. Interesting. Oh, That's yay. ominous. We're sinking. More water. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, why do I think that water is going to be involved in this next one? Hmm. Good gracious. Very I sure interesting. Hope that we aren't trapped on a replica of gigantic. <laughs> All blown out of the side. That sure would be awkward. Mm hmm. What a, what a coincidence. They did say this game is very Zero Escape inspired, so, you know. Yeah, it's been about, it's been one puzzle per chapter, yeah. Yeah, which I think is good. Like, there's still dialogue, and there's, um, there's the puzzle in it. And you get a little bit of, like, dialogue choices, so there's, like, a little bit of everything. I found this online, but I'm resisting the urge to play it. Oh, hi, Sam! Hello! How are you guys? Hi, Raid! Hello, Liz! How's it going? Hi. Hello, you've caught us at the tail end of our... <laughs> yeah, we're actually kind of getting close to ending soon, too. But thank you so much for the raid! How's it going? You, you guys were playing... Oh, hello. Uh, hold on, give me a second while I... Uh... Oop, I cannot type. Yeah, there we go. Hello. 
Uh, we are playing a game called Exit Corners. Um, it's kind of like a, a Zero Escape style game, if you like that. Um, it's, it's actually like an episodic kind of chapter one. But uh, currently we are trapped in the Four Elements Hotel. And we are trying to find our way out. Uh, we're solving puzzles. So if you like the Zero Escape series, uh, so far, definitely recommend. We're not very far into it, but uh, we've been having a lot of fun with it. So uh, yeah, 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 I would definitely, definitely recommend. Um, Currently, we are facing existential crises. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We are not sure that anything outside this hotel exists. We're not entirely certain that the hotel itself exists. Yeah, we might just be in a different reality. <laughs> Anyways, how was your stream? How did how did the uh, Fire Emblem go? Also, how are you guys enjoying married life? Whew. So, I don't know. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, definitely, definitely interesting. I don't, I don't know. I'm curious. What's your, what's your top theory right now, Kay? Um, the thing that ties us all together is blood relation of some yeah. kind. That's fair. Sam is using my laptop, so we're switching to phone now, but it went well. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I like the everybody's related theory. Um, I also, I do kind of think, I don't know, I'm torn between... Um... I'm torn between thinking that the contacts are real and that they're they're fake, but they just like they've set everything up in a way that like there's no possible way they could rescue them. Randomizer has been absolutely wild. Martha's Takumi and I'm having fun. That sounds fun. Randomizer stuff is always so interesting to me. Like anytime I see people do randomizer stuff, I feel like it takes like intense concentration. But um, that's cool. I'm glad that it's that uh, that it was having that you're having fun with it. Hmm. No, I think the contacts are somewhat real, maybe. Yeah. Um, at the very least, we were getting texted at the same time that um, Beth was getting texted. Fair, fair. My brain is indeed fried. <laughs> fair enough, yeah. How does a fire emblem? I don't know anything about fire emblem. Um, You're friends with only... Yosh and you don't know. I'm just kidding. I also don't know anything about fire emblem. That's uh, dumb. The only entry I've looked at in any sort of detail is three houses. That's fair. Um, so, and I'm trying to imagine how you would randomize three houses. Um, and it doesn't make any sense in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Is that T posing? <laughs> That's a cute, cute emote. T pose. Yes. All right. Looks like you have to find someone to chain raid. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to look. Um, I've got a couple people here. I could uh, raid my friend Margaret or um, Bea's sister Jerry. Um, one of them's playing Don't Starve Together, and the other one's playing a game called Team Fight Tactics, which I'm not familiar with, so... <laughs> What'd you say? I know Team Fight Tactics. It's, a uh, an auto-battler. Oh, okay. Um, As a, whatever the preview here looks very busy. Yes. Um, it's a lot of, uh, management, and not a lot of actual things. Gotcha. actually doing things interesting um, so it's very hard to explain without having some background knowledge of don't Fair. starve sounds like something that you could just pick up and 
pay attention to. Yeah, I think I might do that. Context. Yeah, I think I might. All right, let's see if I can. Do you do? It was like forward slash raid, and then the name of the person, right? Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna go read my friend Margaret. Everybody, uh, tell her we said hi. Uh, she's cool. Um, thank you guys so much for raiding and stopping by. I hope you, uh, had a good time with your stream. Sorry we were at the tail end of ours, but, um, it's, uh, so great to have you guys come by. Good to talk to everybody. Uh, and, uh, I don't know for sure when the next stream will be, but hopefully we'll see you guys then. And you guys have a good rest of your evening. Bye-bye! Bye-bye.